Hi friends, I will teach you Rhino 3D CAD designing software in a very easy method to make it easier for you to learn and you can get good command on Rhino so that your creativity comes in front of the pupil. There are many of our friends who want to learn Rhino but they can't find a good source to teach them. So here I will teach you Rhino in an easy way. I will teach you how to make beautiful product in Rhino. In starting, I will not go in the depth of the Rhino because you will be worried in depth and you will find it heavy to learn. I will teach you little by little in an easy way so that you will learn it very quickly. I have opened Rhino now. You can see the templates are visible here. These are the templates. Suppose if you want to make a bottle, then we can make it in centimeter templates. If you want to make a table, we can make it in large object inches templates. Meaning, if you want to make something of a small size, then use a small measurement templates like centimeters and inches templates. And if you want to make something of big size, then use large measurement templates like meter and feet. Meter and feet in here fit. I usually use large object inches if somewhere the measurement is needed in centimeter above the demand of the customer then I can use centimeter templates or other templates so now we start so let's click the templates for large object inches now the templates of large object inches has been opened in front of us this whole area is called Rhino screen see here and there you can see here four viewports top perspective front right in the top viewport you can see here the top side of your product in the front viewport you can see front side of the product and in the right viewport you can see here the right side of the product and this is perspective viewport here you can see all sides of the product you create in Rhino now I will show you menu bar this is menu bar here you can access commands command history window you can see the history of the command you enter and this is command prompt here you can see your command before execute or working the command and please please don't try to keep in your mind all these things this time in the next few lessons these all things will become friendly with you i am showing you only the face or screen of the software everything will become clear when you will start to making the products now see this this is a standard toolbar here you can see the main one and main two toolbar now i am going to start the main part of this lesson here i will teach you the very basic part of this lesson the very basic part is line shape here I will show you how to make different types of lines shape. Let's start with these 7 tools of lines shape. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Here we will make it uh, top viewport into the single viewport. Click two time here and see here. Now you can see clear everything we will draw here. First we will take polyline. Click here and click anywhere. First click and second click third click anywhere click 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 here and click here click here and finish this command by pressing the enter key now i'm going to press the enter key enter and the command is executed now i will see control point curve Click the this tool and click here, click here, click here, click here, click anywhere. It is just for practice. We are not going to make any product here. It is just for practice. See, finish. We can left anywhere by this tool. Click again. See. If you want to finish here then press enter now this segment is ready now I will take circle tool click this tool here and click here 
and drag your mouse pointer here to the right side see the circle is ready click again you can see the circle is ready now I will take ellipse tool click this tool now you can see click here and click here and click here now you can see how to draw the ellipse shape see these are only for just practice now I will take uh, arc tool click here and click here and drag to this side and click here the arc is ready the arc is ready now I will take rectangular corner to corner tool click here you can make rectangular shape and square shape both the shape you can make by this tool see click here first we will make a square shape see here now I will make rectangular shape click again this tool click here and click here click here click here this is rectangular shape now I will take polygon center radius see click here the default numbers of the side is 6 so click here you can see the 6 side will come automatically here and click here this is finish because by default it has uh, 6 sides number you can change this number of the side take it again click here we will make another polygon click here now we will change the number of sides click the number of side see here number of side by default these are 6 now I will change it to the 12 now I am pressing by the keyboard 12 and enter now you can see the side has become 12 see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 practice this shape now I'm going to clear these all this stuff I am pressing delete key now delete now I will make precisely everything now I will take again polyline see here click here and I will give a measurement I will give the size of this line so look at here when I will press in my keyboard the number you can see here now I will take 10 inch see I am going to press 10 inch here enter now you can see it is fixed on 10 inch click here now I will take uh, 5 inch to the right side see here now I am going to press 5 now it is 5 see it is fixed on the 5 now see I will take uh, 12 inch this line see here again 12 inch now you can see this is 12 inch now I am going to click here and press the enter to finish this command now I will see the measurement first I took 10 inch see here I took the measurement tools from the standard toolbar and click here first click here a second click here see this is 10 inch I will take again dimension tool see here first click here and second here it was 5 inch now it is 12 inch so I am going to take again this tool click here and the click to the end now this is 12 inch you can see here accurate measurement now I will take uh, control point curve practice this for the accurate measurement you can take any number of the size this is only for practice in the next few lessons all the things will be clear it is basic part of the lesson so I am trying to teach you these things it is very necessary for the next lessons see I am taking control point curve first click here and I am going to take 10 inch anywhere my cursor is following the 90 degree you can see here it is going straight right or it is going straight left uh, right side or it is going straight, straight left side because grid snap and ortho tab is on you can see here it is grid snap and ortho tab is highlighted here I'm going to close this tab here now you can see here my cursor can go anywhere because of this step it was going straight here and the straight uh, this side and the straight of this side now you cannot move here 
or hair because of this see i will take now 5 inch 5 inch here 6 inch here it will not exceed to the 6 now you can see i am going to close this tool now you can see here for the precise lever can go with the measurement now after this i will take circle tool click here i will make 10 inch dia circle i will uh, click here and give it 5 inch for the 10 inch dia your radius should be 5 inch for the 10 inch dia i am going to click 5 and pressing the enter see when you measure this circle you will get 10 inch see here to here 10 inch now i will take ellipse click again i will make precisely now i will make accurate size ellipse see click here and will i will click here after 6 click 6 inch and i will click here after 3 click 3 see measure this ellipse here to here you can see 12 inch here and here you can see because 6 inch here now i will make rectangular shape 10 by 20 inch click here click uh, 10 inch press enter and click 20 you can see your command here 20 inch and press enter now you can see one rectangular shape is ready now you can measure it this click here click here this is 10 inch and click here click here this is 20 inch. it is snapping in the center so clear the center snapping medium is snapping and quad is snapping see clear this and snapping now i will make by this tool again a square of 20 inch by 20 inch click here give it 20 and enter and 20 again and enter now you can see an square of 20 inch by 20 inch is ready now measure this click here and click here this is 20 inch click here and click to the end of this this is 20 inch you can see we are making the shape with accurate size so practice this now in the last i will take polygon center radius click here click anywhere in the board click here i will change the number of side to the 8 press enter now side has become changed now i'm going to give a size of 6 inch here you can see i press the 6 inch and click here now you can see this is 6 inch from the center and this will be 12 inch from side to side so guys practice this shape in the next lesson i will clear another things see first make randomly any size anything for the practice only and after that practice make precisely everything see any size you can take for the practice only now i'm going to make it four viewport again click this top viewport two time you can see the four viewport here now what is the work of gumball by the gumball we can navigate the object anywhere in the viewport see this red is showing we are moving here uh, we can move the object here by the red and we can move the object if you if we hold this green arrow we can move the object here and by this in the front viewport here you can see we can move it is going upside these arrow are only for moving the object here and there anywhere where you want to keep your object and this line is for rotating the object see see here and here and here see we are moving our rectangular uh, shape you can stop anywhere it is for moving see now i will change the size when you drag the cursor from right side to left side you can select all the object by touching only the see here only touching if you drag from left side to right side it is touching object but it will not select see or from right to left see it is selecting everything now i will see what is the use of this point red and green see you can change the size you can change the size from here now we will change the size from all the side i will press shift first then i will click here and drag here to here see you can change the size by this so guys practice this lesson i teach you how to drag your object anywhere by the gumball and by this arrow and by the green arrow and you can rotate your project 
by this line and you can change the size by this practice this lesson line shapes are very necessary in the rhino so practice this lesson very carefully in the next lesson i will make uh, in the next lesson we will make product by these lines so guys bye